Good evening everyone, it's me again, bringing you another video on the same day. Well actually, it's on day 23 of the Vlogmas. And I must tell you that I wasn't really happy about the video that I had put out earlier because there was too much going on, the television was going, and you know, there was just a lot going on on the video. But I posted it anyway because my nephew and my, I mean my, no, not my nephew, my grandson and my great-grandson were here. And uh, I wanted to catch them on video. They said they wanted to be on the video, so hey, I did the best I could under the circumstances. But the reason I'm coming to you tonight is because my granddaughter had called, my granddaughter, she lives in North Carolina also. And she had called me last night to tell me that she had sent me an uh, incredible edible. And so she, you know, I guess she was calling to see if I had gotten it. And I told her, well, no, I didn't get it. And so uh, today I waited up all day. You know, I have to usually have to have me a nap during the day. <laughs> As uh, well, my grandkids were here from North Carolina. They didn't leave until about, I guess it must have been about 1.30 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. And so I says, well, uh, I, I have waited around for this incredible edible for such a long time, so I'm going to call my granddaughter to tell her that I haven't gotten it yet. And I said, well, did you give them my telephone number so that they can call me to, you know, let me know when they are near? Because a lot of people have a problem finding my address. And I don't know why. They always confuse me with the building. Uh, there's a big elderly building that's right across the street from me. And a lot of people get that building confused with my address. And my apartment sits sort of back from the street. And the number really is not that visible from the street. Anyway. And so she, I said, well, maybe you should call them and give my address. And so she called them. And so now it is 1.30 in the afternoon. No, it's not 1.30 in the afternoon. Now it is 5.30 in the afternoon. And I've been answering robocalls all day, thinking that maybe these, you know, might be the callers, you know, calling me about my um, incredible edible. Well, anyway... Here we go again, y'all. I forgot to turn this darn TV off. <clears throat> and so finally, just a few minutes ago, the incredible edible guy had called and said, I heard him saying something about 67. I don't know if he was talking uh, to someone else. It sounded like he was talking to someone else. And... I said, well, let me go look out here. So I got my little stuff on, my little thing, and look outside, and he's out there by the fence <laughs> from where I live talking on the phone. And so he says, I'm looking for a day, Zell. I said, yeah, that's me. And so I said, I see you. And so then he, and I saw him with the uh, bag. And let me show you uh, what he brought me. I don't know if I can get this on video, but it's an incredible edible. Look at that. I think it's got a, I didn't actually open it yet. I know I see some strawberries. I see some Grapes, are those grapes, are melons, oranges, and I, I guess those are gingerbread guys, those guys in there, I guess those are gingerbreads, and wait a minute, I got me something else to go with it, y'all, I gotta give him a name, I don't know what to call him yet, maybe I'll just call him Incredible, because I mean, I've had a time, this is like two days. And I've been waiting for this incredible edible. Why don't we eat some of this incredible edible? Well, I'm not going to be able to share that part with y'all because I can't open it with... Let's see. Nope. Wait a minute. Hold on. Well, I don't know what all that says. Delivery Tuesday. 
See, they supposed to have brought it yesterday, as you can see. Uh, well, that's just showing me. This is the first one that I've ever gotten <coughs> personally. You know, this is the first personal one I had ever gotten. I've had them before. Well, I've eaten them before. They were good. And, uh, matter of fact, at my, uh, I think it was my daughter's birthday party or something. My niece had given her. And she had, uh, y'all have to excuse me because I can't. I'm trying to get it open. I hope they ain't rotted because I'm smelling something smelling kind of high fruity. You know, high fruity like a rotty fruity. So they were supposed to pay me yesterday. Ooh, look at it. Now, oh, the impact. Wait a minute, y'all. Ah, look at that. Maybe I can stand my camera down so you can see better. How's that? That that looks a little better. You know, me and my camera and all that kind of stuff. I'm not the, I'm not the greatest photographer. Not the greatest photographer, y'all. Ta-da! There she is. There is my incredible edible. Now, if that's not incredible, I don't know what it is. Look at the way they package it. They put it in a box. Fruit boutique. And then it's got tissue paper in it and the cellophane, the cellophane paper and the box. And then the, the flower, <coughs> I mean the, uh, the fruit thing was inside of the box. It was pretty cool the way they did it. Pretty cool. And let's see now. What is this? I think the whole thing's supposed to... Whoops. Supposed to lift the whole thing off because it's on like a uh, toothpick. Well, y'all. Y'all are welcome to have some if you were here. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Yeah. I can't describe it. Unbelievable. Sweet, fresh, and um, now I'm curious as to what these are. What are these little guys? Are they chocolate coated fruit? Or are they chocolate coated candy? Mmm. I think that's a. I don't know what these are, but they're good. Must be a melon, melon ball. I think these are strawberry. These are grapes, and over here in the back, okay, we got more melons. We got nice big melons, and these are oranges. There's an orange, oranges, and more melons. Mmm. I'm gonna enjoy some more of this. And let's see, I'll take him out. I might think of another name for him. Because I don't know if he wants to be called incredible. But he is incredible. Mm. Um, let me get a pair. Let me give him some scissors so I can open him up. Let him sit on my couch. I'm coming, y'all. I gotta open him up. This is exciting. I've never gotten one of these before. Something that I can just take out. The, look at it. Isn't he cute? Say, I'm incredible. I'm incredible. But I'm not edible. Look at that. That's, what, that's from my oldest granddaughter. She said she loves me. I said, I love you too. Oh, that's wonderful. It makes you feel so good when you get a, you know, gift. Even if, I, I mean, it really does. It is to let someone, someone know that you're thinking about them. You know, and, and the pandemic is here, and here she came. This is the first time, I'll tell you, 
first time in a long time that somebody has actually sent something to me. I don't think anybody's ever. Wait a minute. Not that I can remember, no. I just have some... Did somebody sent me some... No, not actually sent nothing, no. But somebody has bought me something, you know, like for the... Uh, what do you call it? Ba Valentine's Day? Mmm! What are those things are? I'm going to tell you, honey. Mmm! I'm here to tell you. And I BS you not. Trust me. I ain't even going to lie about it. That fruit, I know that one thing right there, what I'm eating, whatever I'm eating, it's a melon. It's good, fresh, sweet. It's incredible. I can tell you that. Mmm. I'm going to probably eat all of those before I go to bed. Mmm. So good. Now I don't know what to do with them after, you know, when I can't eat them all. Should I put them in the refrigerator? I don't know. Maybe there's some instructions on that little paper they gave me what to do. I guess I suppose I put it in the refrigerator. It says Merry Christmas from Shetanya. That's my granddaughter's name. Her name is Shetanya. And Travis. And King. Mm. Says we love.